Hey, look at this image on the screen. We all know what this tape is. Be it jackets, backpacks or shoes. This Velcro tape is so commonly used that we don't really realize its significance in our daily life. Care to know how it was invented? In the year 1941, Swiss engineer George de Mestral was out for a stroll after a hunting trip. Out of nowhere, he noticed something peculiar. Seeds clinging on to his clothes. Upon closer inspection, George realized they weren't just any ordinary seeds, but resembled tiny hooks that latch onto anything with a loop. Well, this observation sparked something inside George's brilliant mind. He unveiled this groundbreaking invention of the hook and loop fastener, popularly known as Velcro today. This story brings us to our topic of the day, which is the idea of exploring, mimicking nature and biology, unexpected examples of biomimicry in architecture. Hi, I am Rajesh and welcome back to Novator, where we empower AEC professionals like you with the latest AEC scoop right from the industry and the expert. And if this is something that hits a chord with you, then take a minute to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So, biomimicry is a revolutionary approach to design that takes inspiration from nature's finest creations to solve human challenges. It's like drawing inspiration from millions of years of evolution to create sustainable, efficient and resilient solutions to our design dilemmas. And today we are going to discuss five such biomimicry buildings that will leave you in awe. Starting with the bird's nest. Yes, a bird's nest. Imagine a building that looks like one. Thankfully, the building we are talking about isn't made of twigs, leaves and mosses, but with steel, beam and columns, mimicking the sturdy construction of a real nest. We are talking about the Beijing National Stadium, often known to be strong and sturdy. No wonder the architects chose it as an inspiration, ensuring resilience against seismic activities and its ceiling is designed in the shape of the Chinese philosophy symbol yin yang, embodying balance and harmony. And if we talk about sustainability, then natural ventilation, daylighting and solar power makes this stadium an eco-friendly gem. The stadium's nest-like design not only mesmerizes spectators but also maximizes structural stability, echoing the resilience found in nature's creations. Pretty amazing, right? And oh, here's the twist you weren't even looking for. The structure involves complex geometry, which means countless calculations. But thankfully, a software's magic saved the day. The technology that... Mm, we aren't going to spill the beans so soon. We will surely talk about the skills used to achieve this masterpiece as the video progresses. So watch this video till the end. But if you already know what we are talking about, then pause this video and comment your answer right below. Next up, we have the Eden Project Biome. It's a true masterpiece inspired by the whimsical beauty of soap bubbles. Yes, you heard that right. Remember our video where we talked about this project being no less than a mystical paradise? So we are talking about the world's largest greenhouse. It's like an entire rainforest under one roof, inspired by the shape of honeycombs and bubbles for flexibility and sustainability. The entire greenhouse is covered in a special material called ETFE. Why did the architects use this specific material? Because it's lightweight and translucent, letting sunlight in to nourish the plants. It also traps solar energy, making the whole project super energy efficient. Smart, huh? But that's not all guys. The project also faced multiple challenges. That was no less than an uphill battle. The project was built on a clay pit, which was not at all ideal for supporting a lush plant life. But despite the odd, the Eden project stands tall, a beacon of sustainability and innovation. Now. I would like to share an interesting fact with you all. Of all creatures discovered thus far by humans, humans have found that termites are the creatures that have the remarkable ability to construct the tallest structures relative to their size on earth. But 
Why are we suddenly talking about termites? Because this brings us to our third muse of the day, the East Gate Center in Zimbabwe. Ever heard of it? Drawing inspiration from termite mounds, this architectural gem utilizes natural ventilation systems to regulate temperature, a feat once thought impossible without conventional air conditioning. These little builders, the termite, construct massive mounds where they farm fungus, their main grub. Now, what's mind-blowing is that how they manage to keep the temperature inside these mounds at a comfy 87 degrees Fahrenheit, even when it's scorching hot or freezing outside. Inspired by how these mounds work, the architects chose to create a building that has its own HVAC system without having one literally. How cool is that? Talk about a smart and sustainable solution, right? Anyways, moving on. Let me show you something. If you ask me, this looks no less than tall trees covered in beautiful and colorful light. Well, this right here is the garden by the bay, comprising 18 super trees. One might mistake these buildings to be gigantic trees, and they are indeed inspired by majestic trees, the mighty 80 meters tall curry trees of southwestern Australia and varieties of bromeliads, orchards, ferns and tropical flowering climbers. But like any good thing comes at a cost. This project too faced multiple challenges with barren land, lacking roads, drains and electricity and the land being reclaimed. Associated works had to be carried out before the development of the project. But at the end of the day, they made it. It's amazing what can be achieved when creativity meets determination, isn't it? Now I know that you are desperate to find out about the next amazing project. But before that, did you find something common in the projects that we have discussed so far? This brings me to the twist we mentioned earlier in the video. It is computational design. Computational design techniques were instrumental in bringing these visions to life. And if you are passionate about pushing the boundaries and design too, then I have something in store for you. Learn 5 plus software like Grasshopper and Rhino along with 15 plus plugins. That too from renowned industry experts. Get global career prospects without compromising on your current projects at hand. Well, we are talking about our master computational design course that is tailored to make you into one of the leading maestros in the industry. So do not miss out on this opportunity. Go check out the link to this course in the description box below. Coming back to the topic, can you name this fruit that you can see on the screen? It might resemble a jackfruit, but actually this fruit's name is durian and it is popularly known for having a stinking smell. Anyways, take a closer look at the spikes. Looks sharp and edgy to me if you ask me. Now imagine a building with a similar shape and surface that is round and spiky. Sounds weird, right? Well, this brings us to our last building for the day, the Singapore Art Center. The building captures the essence of this tropical fruit durian and the concept behind the esplanade is deeply rooted in Singapore's culinary and cultural heritage. The building's innovative layout houses state-of-the-art performance venues and artistic spaces, creating a dynamic hub for cultural exchange and expression. Now, let's talk sustainability. From energy-efficient lighting and ventilation systems to green spaces and water conservation measures. Sustainability is woven into every aspect of its design and operation. And of course, building a structure as unique as the Esplanade wouldn't exist without its challenges. During construction, the project faced multiple challenges in logistics, engineering and in-depth details. But despite these obstacles, the team ultimately triumphed, giving rise to one of Singapore's most iconic landmarks. Biomimicry extends its reach to engineering markets and product designs, reshaping industries and challenging conventional thinking. From Velcro inspired by seeds to buildings inspired by termite mounds, the possibilities are endless. With the looming threats of climate change and urbanization,
urbanization, biomimicry offers a ray of hope, paving the way for a harmonious relationship between humans and nature. For structural innovation to sustainable concepts, these buildings exemplify the principles of biomimicry in action. So let's continue to explore the endless possibilities in architecture and beyond. And if you want to know the top five places to learn computational design all over the world, check this video out right now. Together, we can shape a world where human innovation and nature's wisdom coexist in perfect harmony with computational design. Thanks for tuning in guys and remember, nature has all the answers if we are willing to listen. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such content. Until then, stay curious and let's dare to disrupt.